have you signed off your tenure as Nepal head coach in this perfect way, the dominating seven wicket win? It is uh, a very nice way to move, but I have to tell you that uh, the uh, all the, the the praise goes to the players, as you know. Um, they're the ones that have to go and do all the hard work. Um, we try and prepare as well as we can, uh, but ultimately, you know, it's the players who go out and have to perform, and I'm very proud of them today. Uh, disappointed yesterday, um, but we finished up uh, on, a, on a high, and um, as I've been told, we are now fourth um, on the table uh, with a very healthy net run rate, so that was a good thing. David, your time as head coach has seen a new exciting breed of cricket brought to Nepal. Is that something that you really targeted and something you wanted to do? Um, I, I can't say specifically that's what we, uh, we, you know, we focused uh, on. I can tell you that you know I've always been a believer of, um, of putting the right plays in the right positions and then giving confidence to go out there and just just enjoy the game and back yourself. Um, and we're very lucky, I guess, uh, to have had uh, the two young openers who debuted in the T20 and together they debuted here last week uh, in the 50 over game. Both have got pretty good futures. Um, you know, we'd like to think that, that they will develop and learn quickly uh, as they go along. So there was uh, that, then little uh, Roy, Roy Powdell came and uh, emerged out of the pack. Probably lucky to get a game when um, uh, when Sandeep Jora was unavailable for injury back home in Nepal, and then uh, when Dipendra Singh Airy got uh, injured before the start of the tournament. So things happen in funny ways, and he's grabbed his opportunity, and I thought he uh, he showed a few things to you know the selectors and games to come. For Nepal fans in, in the future, looking forward without you now, you'll move on as head coach of uh, Baroda. No doubt you'll do a fine job there, but do you think it's a very bright future for Nepal cricket? Surely, yeah. I think um, uh, provided they continue to get some sort of meaningful competition along the way would really help it instead of just waiting for ICC tournaments. Um, EPL coming up later this week will be a good thing for our guys. Um, but more meaningful competition if, uh, if the association is able to um, plan and create would be very beneficial. I forgot about young Gulsha, young fast bowler from uh, from province number two. Batted very well in his first game and bowled with a bit of speed, but you know, got knocked around a little bit, but tremendous potential. Dav, you seem to have forged an incredibly close bond, not just with the players, but the support staff around you. Are you almost a little saddened <laughs> to be leaving and moving on? Oh yeah, of course, there was a, a tinge of sadness. It's happened, uh, in every job that I've had, this one's come along a little bit quicker than I uh, probably anticipated. However, um, this this bonding it just sort of happens naturally, I guess. You know, again, I don't set out to say, "Come on, we're going to bond here," <laughs> but um, just natural behaviour, creating relationships, developing relationships, having a lot of fun. I might add, a little drink too from time to time <laughs> at the right time uh, also helps. And finally, can you maybe reflect upon your entire tenure? You know, champions back in April, beating the Netherlands, upsetting a much higher ranked side. Two wins from four here this week. They're the only international matches you've been left with, but maybe reflect upon all your time as Nepal head coach. Yeah, surely. Um, you know, there was many months around that competition uh, that, uh, you know, it was a pleasure to be around in Kathmandu. Uh, I had a little trip to Biratnaga with uh, Vicky our physio was really, I really enjoy those things to see the grassroots uh, and to interact with um, with a lot of people who don't have the opportunity to interact with me. So that was really good as well. Um, and uh, just generally the the people in Kathmandu, the people in Nepal, they're all very friendly, they're all very, uh, very eager to, um, you know, to, to smile and to just create a conversation whenever whenever they can. Some are very, very keen cricket followers, I can tell you. Um, and, you know, all in all, it's been a wonderful uh, experience, especially to the to Physio Vic, who's been really my um, my man Friday, you know, he's helped me tremendously along the way, um, along with association from time to time in, uh, in assisting and in helping me there.
Good. Very, very fine. Just one more question. Maybe a little message from the Nepal fans as well. I know you did it on broadcast. Yeah, I did. Uh, the Nepal fans were, were terrific. It, it's not surprising, um, you know, when uh, I was told about them and to witness it firsthand in that first match against Netherlands at the uh, TU ground was uh, something else and we would have gotten more as the games went along but sadly uh, we, we couldn't have any mass gatherings because of the COVID situation uh, but they still came and supported on the other side of the boundary fence <laughs> the, the uh, yeah. so that was good too and, and all the people I don't read papers particularly Nepali papers uh, I don't read even the odd English paper so I, I'm not sure what's happening there I don't do a lot of um, social media but what I do read um, has been all positive, so for that I thank you very much. Coach, you, you had uh, watched all the matches of Mir Cup and PM Cup uh, in Kathmandu. Mm. How do you see the future of uh, Nepali cricket? Well, it's sadly only, only two competitions. You know, We need desperately more of a domestic mainstream competition. Um, but certainly, yeah, it's, uh, it, well, I enjoyed watching it. It's 50 over cricket. Um, there was uh, some mistakes um, that were made consistently. A lot of boys need to improve and understand batting in that 50 overs. I thought the bowling and the fielding, they did it with, um, they, uh, they did it with a lot of passion. Um, these guys, not scared to throw themselves on the ground and graze and cut their arms, no problem. So, uh, you know, from that point of view, no, it's good, but, you know, the more competition you play, the better you'll get. Uh, you, you, you have, you, you just resigned after nine months. What do you take from uh, Nepal? A lot of happy memories. You know, working, you with, so? working with the boys, as I said before, they've been wonderful in, uh, in, in their response. They've been respectful. They've been uh, very much coachable. They listen. Um, they, uh, they're blessed with a fair degree of skill and what the only thing they're missing is the experience against some better teams like this, good teams like USA. Uh, they're about to play Scotland, Namibia. That's what we need. More teams that you know can test the Nepali boys, the better they'll be in the long run. Okay. Doug, very finally, just want to wish you the very best for all the future on behalf of all Nepali fans and go yeah, well in your tenure as the road ahead coach. Thank you so much. Thank you.